Anil here once again with another problem. Anil always comes with problem, huh? <laughs> well, um, the geometry, a question from the geometry, and uh, let me read the question. The surface area of the rectangular prism is the sum of three things, okay? The product of the twice of the length and the width, okay? The product of the twice of the length and the height, mm -hmm. and the product of the twice of the width and the height. Write an expression that represents the surface area of the prism. Hmm. Okay, so let's go one by one. I'm, I'm, I'm first, I'm going to find out this thing. You know, I'm going to write uh, the expression for this thing, and then this thing, and then this thing. Okay, one by one. So let's deal on the first thing. The so product of the twice the length and the width is two times. You know, the twice means two times or two multiply length and width. Okay. Now let's go for the second one, okay? Copy, paste, smart boy. <laughs> alright, so the product of the twice the length and the height, alright? We don't need this. So two times the length, okay? The length, which is L, and the height, which is H, okay? Now the third one, and which is the product of the twice the width and the height, alright? Then I have to copy this too copy and then paste good so the product of the twice the width and the height two times it means two times product means multiply right width and the height okay and as the question is saying the surface area of the rectangular prism is the sum of this okay so therefore we're gonna add everything this is all we're gonna add all right um, okay so the expression for surface area of the prism is equals to we have to add everything okay first let, let's do that 2l w this dot you can remove okay and then plus this one 2l h and then this one 2 w h 2 w h okay here l represents the length w represents the width and h represents the height so this is the the algebraic expression for the surface area of the prism. I hope you understand, all right? In the next video, I will show you some even more cool examples. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, catch me on Facebook. And hey, if you like my videos, please support me. Mm -hmm. Subscribe this channel, catch me on Facebook, Twitter. I, I will update there too, okay? Every, every video updates. This is my world's best square. <laughs> okay, so the, the side length of the square is a you know already that the every side of the square is of same measurement okay which according to the question here is a all right so now the question is saying us that in the square the variable a represents the positive whole number okay positive whole number means uh, 